Hello, hello, hello from Crafting and Cruising. I'm Lisa. This is my page. I actually remembered to turn on Do Not Disturb. That's amazing. Um, when you get on, please say hi. I'm on my own comments today as my husband is doing a job. And so we're in Columbus, Ohio. Let me get you pulled up on my computer over here because I like to swipe the comments when I'm on the camera so that I can actually see what I'm doing, see what you all are seeing. And um, then I can look over on my computer and see what things look like. So uh, if you watch the replay, please hashtag replay. So I'll know you were here. And um, I would love it if you would sprinkle the love um, of this video and others around your network of sphere of influence groups, your private page, um, so that others can come and join us. Um, I have 508 followers as of today, and I'm super excited about that. So, um, my next goal, of course, is a thousand, and then we'll go up from there. So, uh, whoops, let me mute you right there. Okay. So, so far, I don't see anybody on. Um, I had to send my husband a message and say, if you get on, um, or if you get my message, please come on and answer my question, or um, send me a text or an instant message, and maybe I can get it. So, we are in Columbus, Ohio. Um, Rodney's doing a job here. He's got a job in Kentucky tomorrow. Um, I see somebody else is on, but I can't tell who it is yet because I'm not seeing any comments. Um, so hopefully I'll see those soon. Um, and then um, probably headed home and then maybe out of town again next week. Who knows? So today I'm going to start on a project that's probably going to take at least two maybe three sessions only because I don't have all the materials with me. And I know I've been coming on at night um, around 6 p.m. ish Central Standard Time, but um, I'm in Eastern Time Zone right now and we may be um, at friends home tonight or out to eat with them. And so I don't know that I'll be able to come on. So I wanted to go on and do as much as I can today, tell you kind of the process of what I'm going to do, except I forgot something, so let me grab it. And then I'll just do it in parts as I can get it done. I think it's going to be really cute. And I'm excited about it. I'm using a lot of different kinds of elements. Hi, Chrissy, Chrissy Schneider. How are you, sister? Thank you for coming on. Okay, so this is what I bought. I'm gonna show you the back side of it. Originally, it came from um, TJ Maxx, and then I bought it at Goo. I'll show it to you the other day. And you can see where the staples are because on the other side, I'll flip it in a minute, it had crisscross pieces of jute and then little bitty um, clothespins. So you can hang, hey, Chicky, you can hang, um, postcards on it, like the in, the vintage postcards, Valentine postcards, or pictures of your loved one or of your grandchildren or whatever. So what I have done is come up with a plan that I actually sketched out on paper for myself. And I'm gonna turn it around and show you my idea. So this is my idea. Um, since it's a heart, I did like a outline to heartbeat over here with the word love in the center. And so my plan is to make these black and white checks, which I'll start on today, hopefully get finished. Then over here, I'm going to thicken this up quite a bit, but I'm also going to fill this whole area in with this red crushed glass. And then down at the bottom, I'm going to decoupage some of these poppies, which I will um, fussy cut or not really cut. I'll tear them out 
so in groups and clusters so that I can put them on the bottom. And then I want to get some more of the Form Flex molds like this that I have already done. And I'm going to put them all around the edge like this and paint them gold. And then where these heartbeat lines are, I'm gonna make them black, but I might outline them in gold. I'll probably do the edges in gold. Then I'm going to put a totally dazzled piece of bling, a big piece of bling right here in the center in gold and possibly make a bow to go down at the bottom. I'm not sure. That's a long, hey, Mary Zwinger, my sweet friend. That's a long way off. I'm not there yet because, um, like I said, I'm out of town and um, don't have any more of my, I have my form flex with me, but I don't have that mold. So I can't use that mold. So I'm going to at least, I'm not sure when my husband will be back. We have to check out by 2 p.m. Central Time, I mean, um, Eastern Time. So I'm not sure when he'll be back, but I put some black on my plate and I'm gonna put some gold on my plate so that I can start out doing the drag like we did the other day when I was doing checks. And I'm gonna see if I can make them a little bit more gold this time. Cause sometimes when I use this gold and black together, I don't, I don't like the way it looks. It doesn't mix well. It gets too much black. So, um, I hope y'all are having a great day. I'm in Columbus, Ohio, and it is messy, messy, messy. Hey, Sister Deborah. Um, Ronnie sent me a text and said, if we want to do dinner with y'all, that's great, but he doesn't know yet when he's going to be through and when we're going to be heading, so I'm going to leave it to you. I would love to see you. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm just, I'm going to turn this down so y'all can see me some. And um, I'm going to go on and just, let's see, because these are going to be kind of triangular. Um, do I even want, you know what? I'm not sure I even want. I'm not going to do the pre-drag because they're more like diamonds. And um, let me tilt you up a little bit. They're more like diamonds. So I think, I'm just gonna put this gold paint back in here because I got a lot out. And I think I'm not gonna do the pre-drag. I've already gone through and marked which of my, oh, I forgot to show you another element, which of my um, checks are gonna be black. But once I get them black and I do, the final drag, then look at these goodnesses I have to put on here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay some down so you can see. So I'm gonna alternate on the black ones, these 3D hearts. Oops, they, they won't stay turned the way I want to, but every black one is gonna have a red 3D heart. So let me swipe the comments. So anyway, I think that's gonna be, that's really why I started this project to begin with, was because I love the hearts um, on here. So, I'm just gonna go straight to doing my checks, my black and white checks. Tell me what the weather's doing where you are. I know Deborah said it's, um, it's raining where she is. She just, we just talked. She lives fairly close to where I am. Um, so I've got the black, I'm going to offload in the center. I'm going to go right down. Can y'all see? Yes. Right down this line that I've already drawn with my marker, just so y'all could kind of get an idea of what I wanted to do. And then I'm going to pull straight across, only that wasn't straight. And then turn it and go straight down. And per usual, on my first one, I got outside the lines on these skinny um, checks, but that's okay, it's okay. I like to get those out of the way because they're the ones that are the most frustrating, and then I can go on to the ones I like. So, um, last night we had dinner, 
at Red Lobster. It was yummy. You know, Red Lobster's always been my favorite. If, if somebody said, where do you want to go to dinner for your birthday or whatever, I always say Red Lobster. But at home, because I love their biscuits they serve. Oh my gosh, they're so good. And I'm going to carry this over the side right here and go want to get that part done. But um, at home, the, and I, I did that because I wanted to have lobster because I used to crave, that was my craving when I was pregnant. Hey, Antoinette, how are you? Thank you for coming on. Um, when I was pregnant, that's what I craved was lobster. Rodney said, could you not have like maybe a cheaper craving? And I said, well, you know, it's not something I had any control over my body is doing that. Um, and so, anyway, but the last couple times we've been at home, I have, the lobster tail has been very small um, and very tough. It hasn't been good, which is a real disappointment. So, um, I had a drink last night, and Rodney went on and ordered um, surf and turf, and then he ate the surf, and no, he ate the turf, and I ate the surf. And it was actually better up here than it was at home. I told him last time we went at home, I said, I don't know that I ever want to come back. Except I love their um, rolls. Sunny and 70 here in Arizona. Brag, Mary, brag, sister. <laughs> of course it is. Sunny and, and 70, which is a perfect temperature. Because a lot of times y'all don't get that lucky, do you? Just have 70 degrees. I know my um, Dominican daughter, as I call her, lives in Mesa, and, um, and, and of course, she's from the Dominican, so you would think now that, you know, she wouldn't complain about it, but, because, um, you know, they have tons of, I mean, they have bad heat over there, too, but their heat that they have is, um, is, has a lot of, um, what am I trying to say? The humidity. Um, in the Dominican because they're so close to the um, ocean but and we that's what we have in Nashville too which makes it miserable in the summer the humidity just kills me but she said she would rather have that than what they have in the Dominican I mean in Phoenix or Mesa because it's such a dry heat and um, she said it's just really really hard to to even breathe fortunately they have a pool so um, that helps them stay cool in the summer. She has three children and um, her husband is a dentist in Mesa. So let me see if anybody else has said anything. So um, that was last night. We didn't even get here, y'all. We, we made a boo-boo. We were coming from the D.C. area and um, on our way we stopped at a Goodwill. Whoops. And, oh yeah, we had the pleasure of meeting your friend, are you? Oh, that's right, you did, that's right, I forgot. Um, yes. Um, and so we, on the way back from D.C., we were trying to avoid the beltway during traffic time, which is, oh, I don't know how people do that all day, every day, or do it every day, going to and from work, I couldn't stand it. Um, but anyway, fortunately, we hit it at a good time and didn't have too bad of traffic. But we decided on the way in that we would <clears throat> stop by a couple of thrift stores if we saw some, because you know, that's what I do when I'm with him and I need to find stuff to craft with. It's not like I don't have a art studio totally filled with, well, that was good, Lisa. Good thing that one's gonna be black. With stuff to craft with. So, um, but you just can't, you know, you can't pass up a deal. And so, anyway, we had gone to a um, Goodwill in somewhere in Virginia on our way back. And um, they didn't have a lot. Oh, sorry. They didn't have a lot. They had a few things. And, um, and of course, we're in a rental car, which is, uh, it's an Xfinity, but it, and it's an SUV, I guess, but it's, you know, a smaller size SUV. And so, um, anyway... And on the way home, we need to go by this place in Kentucky to pick up a um, oven that we want to put in our fit our um, camper, our um, motorhome. And so Rodney said we need to leave enough room now to you know put that. So just keep that in mind while we're shopping. 
Hey, Judy Carroll, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, and so I said, oh yeah, sure, you know, no problem. Well, we've been to two or three thrift stores and found things that were really, really neat. Um, just, you know, small things. And so I had some sacks and the other night he said, now what we need to do is try to combine as much stuff as we can to make room in the back. Well, of course, I've got all my craft stuff I brought with me too. I've got my little desk I showed y'all that he made me from a Home Depot box. And, um, you know, I've got paints and I tried to organize things before I left home to be really neat. But, um, you know, then when you add two, then you kind of run out of room. So while we were at that um, Goodwill in Virginia, um, I overheard a man say something to this woman in there about how, how oh yeah, well I always make sure um, I save time to go to the one in such and such, White Oak or something like that. And um, so I didn't know what he was talking about. So when we got up to the cashier to check out, I said, "Is do y'all have a store in a place like, is there a place named White Oak or something like that? And she said, yeah, but I don't know of a Goodwill store. And I said, well, maybe he was just talking about a thrift store. I don't know. But I overheard this man saying, you know, that he really likes that one. So we were going to try to go by there. And she said, well, I'm, I'm just not sure what he's talking about. But she said, we have a um, Goodwill outlet. And if some of y'all were on yesterday, you probably saw um, me going live from there. Now, we have a Goodwill outlet in Nashville, too. You do not want to go if you're worried about germs. <laughs> if you're worried about getting your hands dirty, stay away from a Goodwill outlet. Oh my goodness, it was awful. I, well, it's not awful. We have one in Nashville and I've only been once. Rodney and I went, I think year before last, in um, the thing that I had on my mantle that's a white ceramic um, Santa Claus and a sleigh and some reindeer. Y'all might have remembered me showing it this year when I was um, setting up my Christmas stuff. Um, that came from there in a box. It was in perfect condition and it's beautiful and I just love it. So um, that um, and at the one in at home, you pay by um, actually the one at home, you get a buggy. And as much stuff as you can fit in that buggy, I want to say it was like $20. It was unbelievably cheap. And um, But here's the situation. When you go in, they have all these blue bins on rollers that are filled with stuff. And when people got through them, they're just tossing from one bin to the other bin and stopping to look and things have fallen out of boxes. And oh my goodness, it is like a nightmare. Um, people are trying to push into each other to see, you know, what's in that box. And then every now and then they would get on and they would announce that they were fixing to bring a new card out. Well, then it was like the masses would rush to that new card and try to see what was in there real quick while it was still somewhat you know, packaged and neat. And um, so anyway, I found, you know, I, I went live, it's, it's on my page if you wanna go back and watch it, but um, I found a pair of van um, shoes with the, you know, black, either black and white or black and gray checks, I can't remember which, the slip-on shoes by the name brand van. And um, they were in my size and um, I found a Battenberg lace uh, tablecloth. That was my mother's favorite kind of lace, and I love it too. And um, But I don't have many round tablecloths, and I needed one. So this was a round Battenberg lace tablecloth. And um, let's see, what else did I get? I found this cute plastic gingerbread house that was big um, and has lights inside, and then it has little... Um, gingerbread characters around there and I've got to put some batteries in it and clean it up. I'm hoping it's going to work but I think the grandchildren would love it. Um, may even give it to my grandchildren in Kentucky. I don't know. Um, so I'm trying to see who else is on here. Let me um, refresh my page. So anyway, I got that and then this lady, these two ladies were standing there and they were, um, there was two boxes about five and a half feet tall, each one of them, 
that were taped shut and inside were, it showed pictures on the outside of these five foot, well, I think it was five foot total, including the urns, um, trees that most people would probably use as Christmas, but you could put them, I mean, I've seen people leave them outside their front door and stuff just for decor year round. Um, and they had, I think they had um, magnolia leaves in them and um, the urns, I, you know, I'll probably do something with the urns. I mean, they're just plain like gold-ish looking or brass looking urns. So I'll probably doll those up at some point. But anyway, we got one out to see um, if it lit up and some of the lights lit up. We, we may have just missed another cord, but if not, you know, I can always get lights to put on there. And um, so the way this one that we went to works, it's like by the pound. And so when you get up there, you have to take everything out of your cart and put it in this basket on the counter that's sitting on some scales. And then they tell you how much weight you have. And you know, the, the more weight you have, the less per pound it goes down. I think it, I think it's like, oh, I really messed that one up. I think it's like, um, starts out at a dollar, 59 a pound for less poundage, and then I'll go back and touch that up with white. Um, anyway, so, but then, so when we got ready to look at those, we had taken them over to a place where you can weigh your own stuff and see how much you got. And um, so after we got that one out of the box, Ronnie goes, Lisa, first of all, these are gonna take up so much room in the car. And secondly, they're gonna weigh a lot. So when he weighed them, they were like 19, out of the box, not including the box, which of course they want the box to be included, um, 19 pounds and something. And he goes, do you realize these things are gonna be like 30 or $40 each? Well, I know that, you know, if I'd got them at Kirkland's or Pier 1 or any place like that, they would have been probably 70 80 $90 a piece because they're in such good condition and they, they're really nice. And um, so I still thought, you know, well, gosh, that's not much. But then I remembered seeing on the sign over there that no item was would be, no matter the weight, you, you would pay no more than six ninety nine dollars for an item. So that meant... Pro checker, <laughs> I was trying, I was trained by the best of the best, Mary, you know that. The master crafter herself. I sure messed up that one and got over the lines though, but thank you. Um, so anyway, I said, Rodney, no item is over $6.99. So, so I could get two for $14, basically, is what it boiled down to. And I said, honey, I can't, I just can't pass that up. I mean, what is the very worst situation that would happen? I would get them home, I would get them both out of the box, I would look at them and I would go, eh, you know, I'm gonna have to replace too many lights or whatever, I'll just turn around and sell them on Facebook Marketplace or in my neighborhood um, next door app or whatever. That's the worst that can happen. But I'm telling you, I could get a lot more money off of these course then he's saying well then that's what you need to do you need to take them home and sell them and I'm like no 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 I'm not I'm not saying I want to sell them I'm just saying that's the worst that could happen so I said look you they don't call you MacGyver for nothing you you know what you're doing and you can figure out a way to pack this car so um anyway we I said while it's still daylight let's just go on and check out we had a cart full of stuff and then those two big trees Yes, Mary, score is right. And it was, it ended up being like $42 or something. It was unbelievable. So um, it was almost dark. So I said, while it's not dark and it's not raining, let's go out and rearrange the car. Think about where we're gonna be between now and the time we get home and rearrange the car and you know, just see if we can make it work. And so I'm not sure how we still are gonna get the, um, um, the stove, Dad, come in! I did it again on two of them. The oven for the motorhome uh, in there, but if we have to buy straps and strap it to the top of the SUV, I guess we will. Um, we don't necessarily have 
have to get it, but we're going to be going like right by the exit on the interstate in Kentucky. So if we don't get it now, then we'll have to make a special trip back to get it. So I'm talking and not really paying attention to what I'm doing and I'm making mistakes after Mary just complimented me. Mary, that'll teach you not to compliment me again, sister. Um, so anyway, um, then there was there was a Salvation Army close by too. I said, no, we're, we're just gonna go to our hotel. But what started this whole story just now was, so we had put it in his um, phone GPS that we were coming to Columbus and we had all the instructions, you know, how to get there. Well, then when we decided to go to that first Goodwill, we had to get off the interstate and you know, go a little ways. So then we were doing that on my cell phone. So when we came out from there, he said, are you ready to eat? And I said, eh, I could take it or leave it. I mean, it, I don't have to. And he said, well, let's just go a little way. He, he really wanted Carrabba's. Um, the, it's not because he loves their Italian food better than anybody else's, but he absolutely loves the mixture of stuff they give you to mix with the oil on your table to dip your bread in. In fact, last year when we were hosting the um, camping camp out with our camp group, um, he, we made some of that up to take because we were having Italian and he really wanted it. So he said, well, let's see if we can find a Carabas close by. So we found one and it said it was like 38 miles. So we said, okay, well, you know, we're not starving, so we'll go. So we started following the GPS and we get off the exit where it's supposed to be and right where they said turn in the driveway, there is no Carabas anywhere. And we kept trying and trying and trying and we had finally decided that they must have, even though it's still listed on their website, um, they must have put another restaurant in its place and closed it. Both of us at that point were so disappointed because we wanted Caraba so bad. I had my mind set on it, he had his mind set on it. So um, anyway, that's how we ended up at Red Lobster. So we, we come out and when we got off the interstate, it said that we only had like an hour and I don't know, 15, 30 minutes, something like that to get to our hotel. And so um, we come out of Red Lobster and we get in the car and um, it's starting to mist rain and I, we're tired. We've been, you know, in the car all afternoon and um, we're just ready to get to our hotel in Columbus and check in and I was gonna go on and start working on this board. And um, next thing you know, we've been driving for a little while and he said something about this doesn't feel right like are we even going the right way and um because when we did when we got back in and got in the car so what i was going to tell you we put it in his gps and it said like two hours and 38 minutes and he goes wait wait a minute no it was a lot less than that before how can it be two hours and 38 minutes so i said well give me the hotel address he'd already made reservations i said give me the hotel address and i'll put it in my gps maybe there's just a glitch in your gps mm -mm. we put it in mine too and um yeah almost three hours more we had to go so somehow when we got off the interstate to go look for carabas um we messed up <laughs> And um, so we had, and we were so tired. And like I said, it started raining and it was like, oh my gosh, we already had a reservation. So if we canceled it, then he would have had to have paid for it anyway. So, um, and I could, I had a headache all day long that I'd really since the day before that I'd been treating and trying to get rid of. And it just seemed like it was progressively getting worse. So before we went and got those trees, I had laid back in the car and I'm um, taking some of my headache medicine and, you know, tried to get rid of it. So I thought, well, at least when, you know, when we're driving to the hotel, I can lay back. Well, no, by the time we had to rearrange everything for those wonderful trees and the urns I got, um, I could barely recline my seat. So um, it was a comedy of errors, I tell you. We, we've had quite a few of these on this trip. And, um, you know, sometimes you just stop and think, is it, I'm like, do we really need to be doing a lot? Do we really need to be? Do, do I really need to be doing this? Do, so anyway. Um, but 
we made the best out of it. You know, they say when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. So um, I guess we made lemonade last night. So I really want to get this done. And while it's drying, I want to go over there and do the um, red glass so you can see it. Rodney found this company that he's been working with that sells um, crushed glass, kind of like diamond dust, but I think it's even more fine than diamond dust. And um, he's ordered it in several colors so we could see it. And um, they've got some real pretty colors. And I don't think it's as, sh I think it's ground up enough that it's not as sharp as diamond dust. Diamond dust, if you hit it just right, well, it can cut you. Almost through with us. So, um, anyway, um, we were thinking about trying to maybe sell some of it, but I wanted to try it first. And so far, I've only tried it on just a really small project. And so I want to try it on this and see um, how well it's going to stick to like the um, Mod Podge or whatever medium I decide to use. I'll probably use Mod Podge just because I think it'll give it a little bit better grip and hold. And um, I want to see, I, I actually laid it out, laid some out a while ago before I came on live just to see um, how fine it was and if I thought I was going to have enough to even cover that section. And I think I will. Um, but I want y'all to be able to at least see that so that if I don't get to come back on tonight, um, you, you kind of know what it's going to look like. So, now y'all tell me what you're doing. I've been talking forever. Tell me what you're doing on this. What is today? Is today Wednesday or Thursday? I can't keep up with that. What is today? Y'all tell me. I don't even know. Is it Wednesday or Thursday? Hello, I see seven people on here, but I don't see my answering me. I want to thank y'all for being on here and supporting me. It, it really makes you feel good when, hey, hey, it's third. Vicki Anderson, how are you, my sister? Um... It's Thursday, okay. So, he's got to do that job just over the border in Kentucky tomorrow. Okay, how you feeling, Vic? I started to call you last night and I figured you might be asleep. All right, so there's that. So while that's drying now, before we put the other drag on it and then put these red hearts in it, which I think are gonna be so cool, um, I'm gonna go over here and try some of this glass. So, I'm frozen? Not frozen on my end. Thursday, Outrage Andy's 35th birthday. Outrage Andy? What does that mean, Deborah? Our son should fix a <laughs> Our son Andy instead of Outrage. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's so funny. I still haven't heard from Rodney and Deborah about what time he's going to be through so y'all just you just let me know if you want to head this way or not okay so let me get i'm gonna to need to dump this i've got a plate but let me get my mod podge to try this glass with and i've got the glass right here so let's see And I'll probably go back over the magic marker part with paint just because I feel like I should, um, especially before I give it a top coat. Oh my, I've got to start putting Vaseline or something in this so that it won't be so hard for me. Look at all that gunk around it. No wonder it's hard to open it up. Okay. Now, this Mod Podge is a little bit thinner than most, which is good. 
because I don't want it to be real thick, but I do want it to have a good adhesion. And I've got an extra plate up here, so let me set this plate out so I can dump it. I don't want to leave in the hotel a bunch of red glass. I'm sure they would love that. Um, okay, so let me take this little brush it's a zen brush but it's kind of been through it so i'm gonna start over here y'all see and i'm just gonna put some mod podge on here come over here let's do it do it in small sections so the mod podge won't dry but I really want to kind of see what it's going to look like um, between these little lines on the hearts and uh, the, the heartbeat. And I'm trying not to go over the um, black line too much because I don't want it to stick over there. Okay, let's see. Do a little bit more right here. In fact, I'll come all the way up here. I'm not gonna take this over the sides because, like I said earlier, I think I'm gonna do the sides gold. I'm gonna use the Posh Chalk Gold because I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I think I like it better than the other kind of gold that we used to craft with. That's real metallic-y looking, but this is just such a rich, pure gold. I love it. And that Posh Chalk Pigment Infuser can be used like Mod Podge, or it can be used for a top coat. See right here, I didn't get it very close to that line, so let me go back and do that. Take the extra off. Okay, y'all ready? Here we go. It is kicking my bottom, but I'm getting better each day. I'm so glad, I know that's hard. Well, no, I don't know because I haven't been through it, but um, that kind of PT. But y'all, that's my friend that you've been praying for for a while that had the craniotomy because she had a tumor behind her eye and it's turned into a lot more than she thought it was gonna be, so it's hard. Okay, isn't that pretty? See, it's just so fine. Let me try to wipe the excess off right here on my plate before I dump it. I wonder if it'll, if it'll still stick. Let's see. Ooh, it's almost knocked my water. Paint water over. All right, let's see. I'm <laughs> trying, this thing is big. Try not to hit the light. It's stuck pretty good. It might take a couple of coats to get it to fully cover. We'll see. Go back and touch up a few little places and see if we can get a little more to stick. And this is kind of trial and error, right? Because I've never used this glass before. But if it works, I think it'll be so cool to have other options for glass besides just the um, diamond dust. So let me put just a little more glue. Maybe that'll help hold it down better. So when I said that, all that to say, y'all keep praying for Vicki. She's going through some rough PT. I told her she might not be able to drive for six months to a year. Can you even imagine? I would go stark raving mad. Um, and they're working on, I think, short-term memory, right, Vic? And are you, uh, that one, that was one thing Ronnie asked me yesterday, and I didn't know the answer. Are you able to walk on your own now, unassisted, or do you still need help with that? When she and I went to uh, the Cayman Islands and met our sister Debbie down there that's on here, Deborah Jen. Um, she had no idea because the um, ER had kind of, the doctor in the ER kind of downplayed it. it, just made it seem like 
He didn't think it was gonna be a big deal. I'm gonna try to move you guys back a little bit so you can see more. You know, too much stuff up here. Um, he didn't think it was gonna be a big deal, so he told her, he said, go on your trip and enjoy your trip and just, you know, see the doctors when you get back. She was in between doctors because they had just moved to Kentucky from Nashville. Um, and so, you know, she'd been led to believe it just, you know, probably not going to be a big deal. Um, just a, you know, a little place behind your eye. Um, and if I'm, quote me if I'm saying this wrong, Vicki, they said it's not malignant. Um, but it has a chance of coming back. If it does, it supposedly will come back in the same place, I think she said, instead of being like, you know, some that move all over your body. So I think that's what she told me. Am I right? Working on short-term memory. I'm good. Walking on your own. Yes. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm so glad. Um, that's a good thing. Making progress, sis, making progress, progress. Uh, what is it? Practice makes progress. Most people say practice makes perfect, but practice makes progress, not perfection. None of us will ever reach perfection this side of glory. I really like this dark pot spot. See, when I first put it on, it's so dark. That's why I said I may have to let it dry in between layers and then add more layers because that is really pretty. When it's thick and dark like that, I love that. <clears throat> okay, let me see about dumping this off. where there's light spots. And then always, I can always go back over and put a second coat. But I think, I think it's kind of gonna look like I wanted it to look. And I think those poppies will be so pretty on here. It's just kind of something different. I told y'all, I don't, I don't get all into um, Valentine's Day. But you know, maybe it's just because I've been married for so long and I mean, you know, you don't have to wait till Valentine's Day to celebrate that. And then, you know, we celebrate our anniversary. And so I just don't think it's, it's just not a big deal to me. But I know it is to a lot of people, especially young people and young people in love and all that. So, you know, I, I totally get that. Um, but I just don't think I want a bunch of Valentine crafts around my house and if I ever do get to the point where I can sell some things or do a an auction or whatever maybe I'll regret not having more Valentine crafts but it's just it's just not my thing not my thing hey S&S &S, S and J's crafting space from Denmark you're so sweet to get on here I tell you I don't know how you do that time wise she is a faithful follower. I'm so glad you're here. Tell us what the weather's like in Denmark. How cold is it? Do you have snow? All the details, please, ma'am. We would like to know. Okay, put some more of this on here. I'm gonna have red glass everywhere, y'all. Wish it would stay that thick. That's cool. All right. Let me wrap it off here. Denmark would be a fun place to go. I've got some wooden shoes straight from Denmark that belonged to a gentleman that went to my former church. And he was a big, tall man. And those shoes were big and tall, I tell you. I almost put my brush um, down in my orange juice. Mm -hmm. I did. I've done that kind of thing before. Um, so
So while I'm rinsing my brush, I thought I'd come back up here and say hi to you all. So do y'all like, um, like some of the crafters use a split screen where they can like look at you like I'm looking at you now, but then you can kind of look over their shoulder and see what they're doing. Um, I know some people, it's 7.20 p.m. We had rain all day. 7.20 p.m., wow. So you're seven hours ahead of us. I know whenever we went to um, Africa all those times, um, they're eight hours ahead of us. So y'all y'all aren't too far off from Uganda. Um, raining where I am too, in Ohio. I mean, yeah, in Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. Okay, I'm gonna have to put some more in here just because I won't be able to stand those bright spots looking at me while we go back to the checks. Don't make me cray cray. Um, Dab it on here. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab, dab. Okay. Put some more back on here. Just rub it off on my plate, just like I've been doing. Who says you can't be a neat crafter even when you're on the road? Hmm? Okay, now I need to... Well, that's dry. I'm gonna go do my white drag on my um, checks, except I need my white paint. And I'm going to fix those places where I was a little bit sloppy with my checks. Hey, Mickey, I am making a heart, um, a wooden heart that I sh think I showed y'all the other night, I think you were on there, um, that I got from the Goodwill, but it originally came from um, TJ Maxx, and it had a uh, jute across the front of it, kind of crisscrossed with little bitty, um, with little bitty pins that you could hang pictures on, which I probably am going to put back on eventually. But um, I decided I wanted to do it kind of Valentine-ish, so I have done my um, checks, and then this is some crushed glass that Rodney had ordered from a company that we kind of wanted to try out and see how it worked to maybe give us some options besides just diamond dust. So I just tried that. I'm probably gonna have to put a second coat on it to get it to stick like I want it to. And I may use a um, spray glue next time uh, to spray on top of what, what's already there. And then I'll have to dab it on like this. So I'm just fixing these little boo-boos where I kind of got outside my lines a little bit. And then I'm gonna do my um, drag in my checks and then, you know what else I should get? My glue tool so that I can be heating it up and getting it ready to put the parts on. If I can find my glue tool, it's right here in front of my face, right next to me, and I got up and moved out of the way. Then the last step, well not the last step, but the next to last step will be to put the, I'm gonna fussy cut a napkin of poppies um, I'll show you that in just a minute. I'm going to put 3D hearts right here on um, the bottom part of this decoupage. I'm going to put gold around the trim, and then I have these pieces of form flex that I've done in a mold already, but I need several more. And I, my idea is to put them around the edge, all the way around the edge here, and paint them gold. And then put a big piece of Totally Dazzled here in gold. Um, here's the poppies right here. Um, I don't remember the name of the company, Mickey. I'll have to ask him. We were 
thinking about trying to sell some ourselves. So he's been talking with them. But see, the poppies will be cut out, like fussy cut out in, in groups and then glued down here. And then we're going to um, put 3D hearts in our black checks. I wonder if I should do the black checks or the white checks now that I think about it. All right, so I'm just getting some of this white paint and, and wiping most of it off. And I'm going to start in a white area and just drag down. I don't like that drag. I'll have to wet that. I'm trying to do this upside down like Debbie does. I have to turn it back around so I can see it. I'm not good like her. She is the master crafter, you know. Um, so we can't do it like her. This towel right here, I gotta look at it and then I can show y'all. I'm just not, I don't, that upside down stuff didn't work good for me. Okay, I don't want it real, real dark. I'm sorry, you can't even see what I'm doing. Um, I'm starting in the white and coming straight down. Not real crazy about the drags. I may have to go back and touch them up too. But you know what? I'm, I'm thinking I might put, I was gonna put the red hearts on the, on the black, but I'm thinking now I might put them on the white so you can still see my black checks. I'll hold them up there in just a minute and get y'all's opinion, see what you think. Black checks or white checks? Drag over here, over here, over here. I know y'all can't see what I'm doing. Those are my little white drags. Some of them are not very bright, so maybe I should add just a little more to them. Now, what I probably will also do is wax over these. I should do that before I add the hearts because the background of the napkin is not a stark white. And I rarely like it stark white on anything anyway. I like the more antique look, like those hang tags I made on the live the other night. I like them to look more antique. So I think what I'm gonna do um, before I even put the hearts on is go on and put the antique wax on um, the white part. Well, the white and black checks. Now I like those drags better. Okay. See, I'm putting drags in them as if they're squares, and they are squares if you turn them one direction on the other, they're not. A very good chance that we'll come back, the doctor will be keeping very close eye on things for the next two years. No, we've already said in the name of Jesus, we're rebuking that, it's not coming back, it's gone for good. Never to appear again, amen, 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 Lord. Um, I am in a Hampton Inn, downtown Columbus, Ohio. That's where I am. Okay, I don't think I need to put the wax on this big white part, but I am gonna wax. I just got too much stuff on this little thing. I am gonna wax the um, black and white check. So, let me get my wax over here. And this is, I didn't turn my camera around, so it'll be backwards for y'all, but You've seen it before. This is the bare, well, this is actually bare wax in dark antique. So this is the dark one. And then I just, because I learned from Kathy D, she also dips it in her clear, which doesn't really look clear anymore because you get it corroded when you stick it in there, but it's supposed to be clear. So let's take, this brush right here, dip it in the dark wax and it's gonna look really like in your face, oh my gosh, that's so dark. And just rub it on here. Trust me, it will be fine because I'm gonna be rubbing it all, not all, but most of it back off. Now I don't wanna go over the edge there, so let me be careful. Now, 
this will just give it a more nostalgic antique look, which is what I like. That white is just so bright white and in your face, and I don't like it. Okay, be real careful on this edge. Can you see that? Sure does make it easier when Rodney's here reading comments. I tell you the truth. Y'all let me know if it's getting close to 2 o'clock Eastern time because i got to be out of here. And I haven't seen any messages from my husband on when he's going to be back yet. Okay, so see, that looks gross. Now, I'm going to take a paper towel. change. It's okay that I got it on that white little bit. It's not going to show. And my red glass is trying to come over here. Okay. All right. So now we have black and white check, but it's not in your face white. We got that part done. Now put this in the water. What time is it? 1230. Good. Okay. 129, what? Oh, that's right, it is 1.30. It's 1.30? Oh, it is, I gotta be out here by two. Okay, let me just show you quickly. Um, actually, I, you know what, I'm not gonna do the fussy cut flowers right now because it's gonna take too long. Everything's packed and ready to go. I just gotta go get a cart and put it on there. So let me empty this out, and then I'm going to glue some of these um, red hearts on here. And then I'll come back and do a part two. Thank you, Mickey. Um, okay. I'm going to put that down. It's just so close. Okay, so I think y'all said the white is where I should put the hearts and not the black. So, I think I decided that I would go this direction in putting all, um, do you think I should go all bright here and then in the next row, do the ones that are not shiny. And put them in a row. Or do you think I should alternate shiny, not shiny, shiny, not shiny, shiny, that way? Which do you think? Should all the shiny be in a row? Because remember, it's going to be turned like... <clears throat> this. No, no, you can't see that. Let me see if I can just hold this over here. Okay. So, should I, have, I know it's kind of dark, but should I have all the shiny going down a row and then all the not shiny and then back to all shiny and then back to not shiny? Or should I alternate on each row? Alternate each row, row by row, Mickey says. Alternate, Vicky says. Okay, it's one and one. So, somebody oh. else speak and tell me what you think. We gotta have a tiebreaker. Row by row, alternate. You can't tell if you will have two in a row. Well, that's right, but see, I'll have, like if I did this, and then alternate them like this, and then like this, okay, and then 
this one would be shiny this one would be not this one would be shiny this one would be not yeah i think it, i think it would work alternating i think that would work what do y'all think is that what i should do oh well look who's here mr siler just came in the door okay i think vicky's right i think i'm gonna alternate them so Put a little hot glue here. Hold it down a little bit. Make sure it's straight. Okay. Next. Does that look straight? Oh, you know what? I may be going the wrong way. Let me, whoops, maybe I'm turning the wrong direction. Um, yeah, you know what? I think, I think they need to go the other direction. Oops pull this off. I think they need to go because I wasn't looking at it in my direction. I'm looking at y'all's direction. Okay, so let's let's do it this way. So you can come get some of this stuff and start putting it in there. Um, okay, this is the not shiny right here. I think it's going to take a couple of layers of this crushed glass, Ronnie. And the next layer, I may have to spray uh, a glue and then put it down because it's just not filling in all the spaces. Oops, whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay, so there's that points down. Yeah, where did I get the heart? How big is it? Ronnie, tell them what you think dimensions are on this heart. I got it. I got it at the Goodwill, but it said it originally came from um, TJ Maxx. It's about 20 inches total height and about 16 wide. There you go. 20 high. 16 wide, approximately. And about 3 eighths thick. There you go. I think I'll take all this this car while you do that. Here, you want to put some of these paints and stuff in that. Don't take the box yet, because I can fill it up with stuff. But, um, here, these paints can go in the, um, the desk, and this can go. Sorry, y'all. This can go. And I think all the brushes and all that stuff right here can go. Okay, let's see. Shiny. Deborah Jed, are you still on here? Are you coming this way or not? Can you let me know? Rodney is back. This is going to be so cute when we get all the form flex on it and get all the bedazzle, bedazzle on it. And then I'll decide after I look at all that if I want to put a bow or not. If so, I think the bow will go down here, unless I put a bow up here and then put the totally dazzle down there. Y'all be safe traveling back home. Thank you, Vicki. We will. Give me a call when you feel like it. Are y'all having nasty weather too? Like we are? Okay, so 
this will be not. Wait, I'm still not putting them right. Do you like them like that, or should I have them all coming straight? You got in? some shiny and some not shiny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. But do you like them that way, or should the points all point down? I'm not gonna comment. I want you to. Nope. I'm asking you. Do you think it's okay like this? Yeah, it's okay. But it's not the best. <laughs> Is that what you're gonna say? I'm not gonna say. Oh, y'all, he's confusing me now. You be you, you do you, and all that good stuff. Okay, do y'all think, let me tilt this up. Are they already glued on or are they just sitting there? They're glued on, but I can unglue un them. I unglued some before. Should I leave it like this, or should I turn all the hearts with the points down? You tell me. Leave them like this, or points down. I'll take it load the car and I'll be back. Okay. Hello, is anybody on here? Leave them like this, or points down. I know there's at least four people on here besides me. Points down, Mickey said earlier. Points down, so I should take them off and turn them around. Is that what y'all saying? Points down, points down. I like it, but I'm a little wonky. <laughs> Mickey, you're so funny. You're so funny. I mean, it's not bad. I'm kind of thinking Rodney was going to say points down, too. He says he won't say, but... All right, let me see if I pop it off, how hard it's going to be. As long as the glue wasn't dry, it wasn't hard to pop them off, but let's see. All right, I'm going to go back and do it with the point down. Like this. I wish I hadn't glued so many on already. Like it that what, Vic? Point down. Well, these little glue things are coming off easy. And you know why? I think. Just realized that. It's because I had waxed it. Ooh, that one's got to be replaced because I did it on the wrong side. And it's taking some of the red off. Point down. Mm. And yes, if I hadn't put that wax on, it would have been a hot mess. But I think putting the wax on has worked in my favor in more than one way. All right, I need to change this one out because some of the red's off of it. I think I got these little things. It's a whole package. I think I got them at Hobby Lobby, but I'm not positive. Okay, point down. That one is still not totally down. Okay, let me hold it up. Get all this glue booger off of it. All right, so this row has the points down. The other ones don't. Although it looks like they do, but they're not. They are not. Um, I did not see Deborah Jed get back on here. So Deborah, are you on here? Are you coming or not? I forget how far away you said it was. I want to say you said like an hour and a half, but I'm not positive. If you're not coming, then we will head toward our friend's house. If you are coming, we will wait. 
because I would love to see you. One forty nine. Okay, thank you. Rodney's here, so he's already taken some stuff down, and um, he'll probably check us out in a minute. In which case, if he does, I may lose y'all because I'm on Wi-Fi. Um, but you get the gist of what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if I'll be on tonight or not, since we'll be at our friend's house, and um, I suspect we'll go out to dinner. I don't know that. But I suspect we will. Um, so I don't know that I'll be able to come back on. If I do, I want to go on and try to work on the, um, put the putting the napkins on. And um, maybe painting around the edge gold. Uh, I cannot put the Form Flex trim that I want to use on here. I can pick out a, a gold um, uh Di uh, not diamond dust, a gold, totally dazzled um, to put on here. And maybe I can even get a second coat of the red because some of this red is not sticking real well. I guess I'll have to ask MacGyver if there's a different kind of glue I should use. I'm almost caught up, you guys. a lot of glue boogers on here, but I appreciate you guys sticking with me and watching me do this. I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to be on not knowing what time Rodney was going to be back, and then I wouldn't be on my usual time tonight, so um, I'm glad that you all came and joined me and have stuck with me listening to all my um, woes about getting lost yesterday. <laughs> Um, I love it when y'all get on here and talk to me and when you talk to each other it, it helps a lot and that's what I want to do as most crafters do I want to build community on my page so that um, it'll be more than just y'all getting on here and watching me craft but um, we can be a community. I'm telling you, there is no community. No, y'all can't see squat. Let me tilt you. Down. There is no community like the crafting community. There just isn't. I mean, I think Deb's back on. Are y'all here, Deb? Um, some of the sweetest closest friends now that I have I met through crafting and they really are more like sisters than they are friends I just I love them so many of them are um, not afraid or ashamed as I should say I guess of their faith and of praying at the end of their lives um, asking people to pray for them which reminds me I want to ask you all to pray for, I know it's going to be fun, Mickey, for um, Micheline, um, her, I don't think she'll mind me telling you, I haven't seen her on here, but um, her aunt, Ann, who is her mom's sister, and y'all probably know her mom is in a, um, like an assisted living facility, and um, in England, her mom is. And um, her sister, her mom's sister, so Micheline's aunt, is um, under the care of hospice. She was supposed to have had a knee replacement in um, December. What is happening? Y'all, am I alternating? Yeah, I'm alternating. Okay. Um, and she could not have it um, because of some complications. And um, then some other things have happened. And um, so you all pray for her and and Okay, Deborah, so are y'all not coming this way? Is that correct? Or are you driving and you're coming? Let me know so I'll know what we need to do.
Rodney is back, so. Okay, we'll take a rain check. Sounds good. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna put one up here on the edge, you guys, you can't see, but let me turn it a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna put one right there on the edge because it's gonna take up too much. It'll stick out over the edge and I really don't want it to do that. Wait, what did I just do? I can't figure out if I'm alternating up and down or alternating side to side. Apparently I'm alternating up and down, but this, I don't know. Hmm. I think I didn't alternate. Well, I did alternate this way, except for that one and that one. All right, what do I need up here? I need a not shiny one. Oh, I think Ronnie took all the rest. Of them. Okay, I'll have to finish it later. Um, but you get the gist. Let me hold it up. You get the gist anyway. Right? Like it? Yeah, it is row by row. You're not alternating in the same side by side. Check it. Oh, I will. I may have to go pull some off again. It depends on whether I'm gonna alternate up and down or I'm gonna alternate side to side. And in one direction, I am alternating with, with a couple of exceptions. In the other way, I'm not alternating. So going this way, they're alternating. Going this way, they're almost all alternating. So I'm thinking that what I probably should do is do them um, top to bottom, alternating. We'll see. Anyway, you get the gist of it. So I'll be on um, whenever I can figure a time to get on where I can come back and join you guys. It likely won't be tonight. I, I won't say for sure, but it likely won't be tonight. If I can, I will. If not, um, depending on where we are tomorrow, maybe I can be on tomorrow. So. I appreciate you getting on. I appreciate you sticking with me. I appreciate you spreading the joy. And I hope y'all have a great day. Go out and bless somebody and be blessed yourself. Bye.